So I have run out of content ideas again, which means we are doing the classic spend a bunch of resin and farm for characters. However, we are going to do this video slightly different to all of the other spend a ton of resin videos. And we are actually going to be putting more effort into not just getting artifacts, but generally building. And we are going to be building Clorand because she's our other DPS aside from Nouvellette. And she's not very well built, especially in the stat department. She's only got a level 20 weapon and her artifacts are less than great. Some of them are, you know, decent, but they could be a lot better. What the hell is that piece? Okay, yeah, no, they could definitely be better. We're also going to attempt, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but we're going to attempt to get this weapon, this craftable sword, because I'm pretty sure that, that is better for her. This one here, the finale of the deep, I'm pretty sure is better for her. Yes, but to do that, we need 50 of the condensed crystal things. So we will go farm them. But we're also going to try to get her leveled up as well. I think we're going to start off with the weapon because that's going to be the most tedious farming kind of one apart from artifacts. We will actually use Fremenay for once in ever. I don't think I've almost ever used him on this account. So let's go find all these condensed crystal thingy majigs. I haven't done this thing on this account. I thought I've done this in every account. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think we're going to need to do that, so I'm not going to do that. But if worse comes to worst, I know where some more are. This is not quite going as I intended. I am one short, so I've taken to going and swimming around because I think they're underwater. So it turns out I was stupid and I should have looked at the interactive maps underwater thing because apparently there is a couple right here and I should have looked at this first. But no, I decided it would be such a smart idea to not look at the interactive map. So that took me somehow a whole 26 minutes to find 50 of them. I'd say at least like 10 of those minutes were just swimming around in circles trying to find these. But we now have enough to craft the finale of the deep. Boom. There we go. Now I am running. Obviously I am running a five star weapon horror at the moment. But it's just not as good. So we are going to switch out to finale of the deep. Because it is a little bit better. I think. And we cannot level it up. Are these open today? They are surprisingly. Okay. Well we have five resin I think. Five condensed resin. So let me go run this domain actually really quick. I'm assuming we'll probably have more of the blues maybe do we yeah we have 41 of them we just have none of the lowest grade i'll do like maybe a run or two in here and then we shall go from there i probably won't get her weapon maxed out but we'll get her somewhat leveled up also i just realized i jump into a level 90 thing or 80 and my characters normally i always do everything in co-op because i don't do enough damage as you can see clorin's damage right now is uh not that great we hit like 3Ks or so, which is uh, not incredible. And her burst does, yeah, that 3K as well. Okay, one run of that should give us a couple stuff. We'll just leave there for now. If I need to, I can do it again. But that should give us enough to at least get Clorin's weapon a little bit up. So we can go to 40. Now we go to 50. And we can't go to 60. We need more tainted water things and hand guards. Uh, we, we'll come back to that, I guess. Talents, we need more of these. And to level her up, we need more of these. Okay. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to go do a bunch of farming now. And I'll get... I'll go do some farming, some crafting, all of that. Get everything we need to get some of her stuff up. And we shall see how we go. Okay, now we have enough stuff to ascend her to 80. Boom, there we go. We can easily level her up. We have plenty of things. So now Clorand is up with the rest of the characters, or, you know, most of them. We completely ignore these two. I can do a talent, so I will, I think. Yeah, her normal attack doesn't do the damage, if I'm correct. So we are going to prioritize her skill and we will get that to 
six because that's when you start need start needing weekly bosses. I'm out of these. And that's where I've got Nouvellet, so that's where I'm going to try to get everyone for the time being, is up to six. Speaking of which, we can actually get some Lenny stuff up, so I will. I will also get Clarence's normal attack up, but for the time being, I'm just going to focus on the stuff I need, which is not her normal attack. So that'll do six for if I feel like farming these or want to get Stardust or whatever, we can deal with that. Now we look into artifacts. First though, we did get that free pool, so let me go over here. We actually have three standard pools. So, maybe we do get a four star. I don't really want a Charlotte, but that I would have rather a Charlotte. I just don't really want a Charlotte right now because I don't need more characters to build or farm artifacts for. And if I got Charlotte, she'd end up like Fremenet, just kind of sitting off to the side, not really doing much. Anyway, now it is time for everyone's favorite. Spend a whole load of resin, go farm a bunch of stuff, specifically artifacts. There you go, 1,040 resin. That's what we're going to run with today. That'll give us 20 runs, although not quite, but it'll actually give us a little bit more because we already have resin that I've condensed from today. So we are jumping to this domain and we're going to spend a whole lot of time and resin in here. And we will be doing it in co-op because I don't have enough good characters to do damage to clear this because of the enemies in here really suck. And there's no way in hell that we are going to be able to clear this with our own characters in a reasonable time. Okay, first batch of five down. We got one potentially really, really good piece. Otherwise, not a whole lot. So we will work back to that piece. Here, we didn't get anything, you know, not, not great. Nothing here either. We did get a HP, but, you know, I don't know why I kept that actually because it's garbage. Uh, over here, nothing, nothing there. But in the flower department, we have this, which is already better because it's double crit. You know what? Screw that piece we're currently going. Let's throw that into here. Straight to 20. Let's see how it rolls. Could have gone better, but 21 crit damage I will take. I would have rather maybe a roll into crit rate, but I will take it. It gives us a little bit more crit damage than the last piece, so it is is better. Now we go in for the next batch of five. Okay, next batch of five is done. Don't think I got anything great from there. Nothing in the flowers, nothing in the feathers, nothing in the sands. I did get a couple of attack goblets, but obviously we do want to run electro damage here. And nothing in the circlets. Okay, that's what I thought. Didn't really get anything there. This is what I'm currently running for electro damage because I don't really have anything else. Okay, now for another batch. Third run, I think that is done now. That was looking like it was going to be a really, really bad run up until the second last run where we got nothing in there, nothing in there, but we got this which this one's already double crit with 13 crit damage, seven crit rate, but this looks quite nice. And it's already a four line start, which means if it doesn't do that, it could roll really, really well. Crit damage. There we go. Then I want a crit rate roll, please. Right here, I would like to see that crit rate. That's not crit rate. The crit crit rate, that's uh, crit damage, I will take it. But I do kind of need a crit rate roll. I'd like that crit rate to be a little bit higher, please. Can we, can we, can we, see, can we see the crit rate? That's EM. Well, it is higher crit, it's def, or crit damage. It definitely doesn't have, a, it doesn't have as much crit rate on it, but the other stats do look better, so I'm gonna swap to it. It is an upgrade. It does lower her crit rate a little bit, but if we get decent stats, hopefully we can get some good crit rate stats then on the rest of them. Although that is the first two ticked off, the easiest ones. They do have quite low crit rate and I would like to increase that, but it isn't the worst. Now I'm going to need more crystal fly drops, but we will deal with that later. But now it's another run. Okay, another run done. That one was a pretty big dud run. We didn't get very much from that. 
Although I did learn that I am 100% turning Seizurine on my sports only account into a DPS. Because we had a Seizurine on there who was doing like 60 something K on her burst. Which is crazy for a healer. We did get this which could if it was crit rate. Ooh, okay. We like, I like that. What's this piece currently? Energy recharge. It is double crit, so I will keep it. But we could be seeing a much nicer piece here. Although, I would like some crit rate, please. Crit. I love crit damage. It's great and all, but please, I need more crit rate. Please give me crit rate. That's not crit rate. Come on, crit rate. More crit damage. And this one had 10% crit rate, but I am swapping to this. So I think I'm going to run a crit rate circlet. That's probably going to be our best bet for now because we are very low on crit rate. Now, if we get this to hit these last two into crit damage, we don't. Okay, if we can get this 20, 20 roll to hit crit damage. We seem to like getting crit damage today, so can we get crit damage? We don't. It is better than the other crit rate piece I have, which is this one. So we're going to swap her to this now. She will lose a little bit of crit damage, down to 155, but that brings her up to almost 60 crit rate. So I think that is going to be better for the time being. However, I am hopefully going to get some slightly better pieces. Fingers crossed an electro damage bonus in these next couple runs. I think got two more. Okay, that was another really, really dud run. So, and we didn't actually end up doing five runs. So I'm just going to use these last three that we have. Let's go do our final five runs and hopefully we get something good. That last run, we got absolutely nothing. So fingers crossed we get at least one good thing out of this run. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like, I like that. This is the last run I was doing. There was, we only did four runs in cobs. That was the last run I did by myself. It was really, really bad. But I, I see good things. That was the only good piece that we got from that entire run. Everything else was horrible. And even, even that piece, it's not incredible. But crit damage. And never mind. This could be incredible. Just hit crit rate. Crit rate. Not HP. I want no crit damage, just crit rate. Yes. This is looking decenter. More crit rate. That, uh, I'll take it. Crit rate. Attack. Okay. It's not incredible. However, it is better than what we're currently running, which is just all crit damage. Which means now we can get an off piece. Okay. Well, I think Linny's piece is still better. That 11.7 is still looking to be our best piece we could swap to so we are going to steal Linny's flower which still keeps us on a four piece fragment of harmonic whimsy but now puts us at 74 130 now that i look at it i could probably what would happen if i put this back to crit damage 47 179 okay but i could run 44 184 which is a little bit better i think you know it is still low crit rate but it's not the worst considering our newbies running 42, 47. He has that much crit damage. Whoa. But obviously, I would like to get a crit weapon for her. At the moment, we do not have that. The only crit weapon we've got is the Harbinger of Dawn, which wouldn't be bad, but I think Finale of the Deep is still better just because of the this thing. My brain stopped braining. But I think that's what we're going to run for the time being. So we're sitting at 1,700 attack, 44, 184, 100 ER with a bit... 46 electro damage bonus. She is level 80. Her weapon, all the artifacts are level 20, aren't they? Yeah, they're all level 20. Weapon is level 50. I wouldn't mind getting it further, but we do need a couple more of these. We could start us to exchange it, which I might. There we go. Now we can get this up to 60. Boom. There we go. I'm not going to push 70 because I need a lot more of these, and these are quite expensive to start us to exchange. So we're going to leave that there. Not bad. As for these, we don't really care about her normal attack, so we're just going to get that up to two. And now we could get this up if I want to start us exchange a little bit, which I might as well. That was probably a tad too much, but oh well. That does enable us to get her 
burst up to six. And now, since we do have the stuff, I might as well get a normal attack up a little bit as well. Just because I do want to get everyone's stuff highly maxed out at some point. But we can get it up to five, so that's pretty good for the time being. So I think that's as far as we can go with Clorand. So let's go see what we're doing damage-wise. As for teams, we don't really have much choice. Although I will swap Linny out for Chevrus because Chevrus does overload damage stuff. She currently is running 30k HP with really bad stats, but I'm running her on Noblesse Obliged for the extra damage. So this is probably where I'm going to run. Let's go see what we do damage wise. I don't really have a good test subject because we don't have Mastanori unlocked in this account. Cryo Rage is fine it is. Do that. Get this thing. Now she has her overcharged whatever. Clarand Burst. Does 12k. That's pretty good. This does 5k, 6k, 6k's. Okay, not bad. I do need a tankier enemy to check out the damage properly, but it isn't bad. I'm hoping it's not Electro, but I might as well try this thing. Because it is tanky. Also, this team is like the best for exploration. Because Lynette's thing times almost perfectly with Cloran's skill. So use Cloran's all the way, all of that, and then... Basically, two seconds later, boom, you're onto Lynette's. And you regain stamina straight back to Clorand. It is perfect for ex exploration. Hopefully, this is an Electro. It is not. Good. Okay, let's try out damage on this thing then, because this thing is tankier. There we go. 4Ks, 8Ks, 6K, 5K. Pretty good. Pretty decent damage. Okay, so by the looks of things, we're doing sort of, you know, around that 4 to 8K on the normal attacks or the skills i guess but i'd say that is pretty good we are now certainly hitting significantly more damage with clorand which is perfect that is what we came here for and now clorand is an actually usable character that actually does some decent damage obviously she could do a lot more but we need to start looking into getting these up higher and better artifacts for her as well because they aren't horrible but they are certainly not great also her weapon being leveled up and a slightly better weapon probably help but that seems to be the case with everyone everyone's weapon needs to be leveled up and they need higher talents and everything so i'd say that was pretty successful but i am calling it there for now because it's seven o'clock and i need to get this video edited and posted tonight because i left it too late again i will call it there we've got plenty of damage everything's doing well it's all lovely great beautiful awesome so yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed if you like sort of content do consider subscribing and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed and good bye Loaded.